What up, YouTube? And all you other unhappy people. I want to do a random thing today and just fill you in on a few things. Starting with, you've seen in the last video, I think it was, the super duper ninja that I got in a bunch of pieces. Um. This thing, I've been riding for about a week now after I figured out that uh, I had a line backwards, a vacuum line backwards. That's why it wasn't running right. So, now it is, uh, well, turn it on, and it fires right up. Ta-da! Woo! And that, uh, the hell else I've been up to. Oh yeah, I uh, got uh, this never-ending project going on, got this all graded out, and I just need to get some rock. Well, still need to finish that. And then, got this project going on. <laughs> uh, here's the original motor to this car. It's the uh, giant hunk of shit 3800 series Chevy. Garbage. It uh, four years ago it spun a rod bearing on me. Garbage. Anyhow, that little thing sitting under there is mm, it's a nice LS1 that's going to eventually end up in this car. And then, uh, what the hell? Hmm. Oh, going to put this thing back together. I took the uh, belts off before winter hit. And I had everything sitting on the deck. And of course, someone got their dirty goddamn dick beaters on the thing. And uh, I can't find the fucking bolt for that. So there's that. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, let's see. I kind of got the... Uh, uh, Oh, my shop's all clustered right now. But, I picked this beauty up a couple months ago. I don't, I don't know what year it is. It's a nice little drill press. 200 bucks for her. I know it's old. Still going through that. Got the... Uh, Motor hooked up for 220, and I want to go through the top portion of it. Everything seems to work all right. Pretty nice, right? And then uh, my recent purchase, I'll do a watch my jigger on this thing. <clears throat> so far, I've welded with it, and it's uh, pretty nice. It, uh, yeah. This thing just pisses me off! Other than that, nothing much else has been going on. Working. Then this piece of shit. Actually, it's not. Just got done doing tie rod ends on my third. Of course, the original parts. With 220,000 miles on them, so I guess, uh... 
tie rod ends don't last forever. This is one of them. It's all. Damn it, you can't see. Look how floppy sloppy that is. I think a street corner woman's tighter than that. Anyhow, that's what I've been up to lately. And about damn time this weather has broke. It's starting to get nice. Ooh, there's some sunshine. Hmm. Let's see what else I can share with y'all. Yeah, pretty much got nothing. Just want to do something, give you some updates, and I felt like making a video. Uh, that. And then you see this little thing right here? Where's that? Been two days of ice. There's already bees everywhere. And not like nice little honeybees, but the asshole bees. Eh, whatever. But, oh well, this is interesting, this Camaro, because I've never done this. Huh. My super duper homemade, uh, whatever the hell you call that thing. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to call it there. I want to give you some updates on stuff and bitch and rant and rave about things. So, oh, I'll catch you later. Oh, I forgot. Real quick, I, uh, I was scoping out the back of my property and stumbled across, stumbled across this carcass of a deer. And this is what I found. It's kind of a shame. Nice rack, nice body deer. We can fill you in on this too. Why not, right? Look at that thing. Ten point buck. Deader than shit. Looks like it just, uh... God damn it. Looks like it just, uh, by its body position and stuff, just curled up and died of old age. And you can tell this thing is an old deer. But... That was a cool find. Damn it. But now I'm done. I think. Unless I think of something else for the next 30 seconds. Nope. Well. Guess I will catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Peace.